Hi everyone, today we're going to take a look at this Andostar microscope. It's something I've been meaning to uh, have, have a look at for a while. So join me while we unbox it, set it up and see what the quality is like. I've been thinking of getting one of these for ages and I've put it on my little list of bits and pieces. So you can see it's an AD409 Pro. I think it's a 10 inch screen. Yeah, we'll see everything we've got in the box, set it up and then uh, have a look and see what the quality is like. So you can see you've got a lens on there. What have we got connections wise? USB, and memory card input, controls along the front, what have we got in the box? Okay, we've got a remote control, little power supply, USB, some thumb screws, HDMI lead, And the controller for the additional lights that are on the base here. I think, I think this is the enhanced version, but I'll know in a minute when I get the, the tray out. And the enhanced version being it has a, a bigger base. Yes, it's got the larger base on it by the looks of it. It just makes it a little bit more uh, usable. And you've got your little LED lights that you can angle around to put in how you want. So we've got the Part of the tube there, and another part there. Uh, put the bit to the side and get rid of the packing. So I might as well have a quick look in the instructions. So it shows you all the parts there. I'm not going to put these PCB returning clips on because it's all just getting in the way in my mind. There we go. Screw that one in there. Just put that around the back, out of the way. A little tight thumb screw. And then that drops onto there, I believe. So that drops onto there. So you're going to need to turn that lens the other way around that way. Point that down like so. And pop it through. Up to there. Tighten these two little grub screws up. Right. So you just look at all these cables we've got to run into it now. So let's just start with this light cable. going on here. So we've got a DC jack which I'm guessing goes into that one. And the USB goes up to the USB I think to the pair. Like so. And then this end plugs into the adapter. Okay. So I'm assuming that powers everything because it's looped from the lights up to the uh, USB input on there. And then we've got a little light controller there. Reasonable amount of length. There's probably a couple of meters there in the length. I do believe that's uh, everything just for setting it up, so let's just plug it in and just check it all comes on and how bright these lights are. Yeah, these lights have come on. Yeah, 
There we go. Just like we'll have a quick look, see if it's working. I've picked up this uh, mini disc PCB, um, so we'll just pop it underneath, and hopefully, let's check if you can see that on the picture. I will put a memory card in as well, but at the moment you can't see anything. We'll have to just focus it in. I'm not sure which way to turn it. There we go. Oh, that's actually uh, that's coming to focus really nice as that. I'm not sure if you can see on the screen very well there, but that's actually. Uh, really good I'm actually quite pleasantly surprised with that there we go sorry about the uh, amateur <laughs> photography skills there um, hopefully you can see that can we get a bit more in yeah we can hopefully you can see that on the screen I mean in the flesh it, it looks actually quite nice as that screen Quite impressed with that so far actually. So what we'll do is we'll set it up on a workbench and uh, give it a, a proper try now, find a memory card for it because it doesn't look like it comes with one, which is a bit of a shame. Um, and see what the actual recordings are like. So here we are, now it's all assembled. Uh, as you can see, you've got a USB adapter, but if you've got a USB socket, you can just plug that straight in to the wall, which is a nice little touch. You've got a fair bit of adjustment. So I have got quite a fair bit of adjustment. You can go backwards and forwards on this plane here, for example, just loosen that and it will slide back and forwards, depending on how far you want it to go. That's obviously not something you're going to adjust that often, which is why it's a bit stiff. And then in terms of the side, we can go again, make the adjustment further up and down on that with the locking nut there but then we do have this one which will then give you more day-to-day -day focus if we do it on that side where you can roll it up and down hopefully just move it across hopefully you see it a bit better there we go so you can screw it up and down that way so you do have a nice range of motion on it in terms of the sockets on the top as we pointed out earlier you got your main USB power in there. Got a HDMI out, which is ideal if you want to connect it through a stream deck or an external uh, recording device. But you've also got a memory card there to record directly to. So what we'll do now is pop a memory card in. We'll just plug it in and go through the menus. So in terms of the display, it's in very good quality from what I've seen so far. You've got a power button there. You've got your menu button there, which you press and hold brings your menu up and you can toggle up and down through your selections you know, change what you want and so on press and hold it to come back in again and if you press it again it'll then take you through into your Wi-Fi settings date and time and so on and come come back out then you've got your toggle buttons up and down you've got your OK button and then you've got what looks to be like a picture tape button now in terms of to make it record to your memory card it's telling you there how much space it thinks you've got on your memory card left because I've only got a little tiny one that's in Excel and I had a one kicking about to try so if you press and hold the OK button it will then start recording as you can see there it's now starting to record so if we press the OK button again it will stop so I believe that's what we just looked at there so let's get something underneath it anyway and have a look and see what the quality's like. Now I just happen to have to hand this, this uh, optical pickup. So I'll have a look at that just to give you an example of what it looks like in real life. Hopefully you can just see that there. So that's what it looks like. So we'll now pop it underneath the microscope and see what the uh, actual quality is like. We are recording this as well. But as you can see the quality of that, I mean obviously on the camera it won't look as good, but I am recording it to the SD card as well, so hopefully we can see what it looks like. But that does look quality wise really good, and bear in mind you've got your little lights that you can angle around to change the uh, quality. But then obviously if you need to work on that you can do just get your soldering iron underneath Let's have a look at the other side 
eso. Es que va para que te focas. Yep, I mean, I, I'm quite impressed with that actually. The the quality of it looks really good. Hopefully, it will come across like that on the uh, memory card as well once we play it back. So what I'll do is I'll just play that back now. Hopefully, as you can see, the you know the quality looks quite nice. It's um, so looking back at this now, I think it does look you know really good. To be perfectly honest. It's definitely going to make life a lot easier for uh, doing SMT repairs and so on. Uh, you know, with your sight, as you get older, your eyesight's not as great. I mean, I used to be fine just using a, an optical glass, uh, you know, a, a SMT optical illuminated um, glass sort of thing, magnifier glass, and uh, these days, <laughs> your eyesight's not what it was, hence why I've picked up one of these. But yeah, first impressions, for what it is, it looks to be okay. I do like the, the size of the screen. Yeah, it's a bit plastic built. But the optics seem to be fine on it, and the fact that it will record as well, you know, I, I think that just helps. And the fact that I'll be able to live stream it as well, um, once I get my go stream set up, I think will be a lot better. But yeah, hopefully you uh, you found that useful. Please like and subscribe, and see you again soon.